Hi, my name is Cindy Rang with the Fabric Patch in Ephrata, Washington. You can find us at fabricpatch.net. And we are going to start our Westport block of the month. It's always fun to do a block of the month because it's always fun to have somebody to sew with. So there's lots of options for you to be able to do this. It could be that you've already got this kit from a different shop. Maybe you've gotten it from us. Maybe you only have the pattern and you want to do your own fabric from your own stash. All of those things are okay. Uh, we are going to go through all of these blocks together, but you would need to have a pattern. Uh, if you can't find this from your local shop, you can certainly get one from us. And again, you can find that at fabricpatch.net. And I think we have a link below. So let's start by talking about the pattern. All right, so this is the pattern. And again, it's by Whirly Gig Designs. And on the front cover, you see the picture of the king size version, which is 99 by 99. And this is in the fauna and floral line. And I'm just going to mention that we did our kits in the exact same color line. You'll see this again in a few minutes. Or there's this color line. And this is the twin, which is 67 by 98. So here's your color pictures or here's your black and white pictures. If you're going to just make this together out of your stash, you can do your own little coloring, whatever else you'd like. And the other thing I'm going to mention is that this page, this page, these two pages, and this page are all visible on our website. Again, that's at fabricpatch.net so that if you want to know um, what sort of fabrics you need, how much of each of those fabrics you need, and what this shows is where those blocks, how those blocks are made and where those colors are all used. So we have, uh, and you can see they're the exact same fabrics. We have both twin and king still available at the time of this taping, but uh, I don't know that we'll have them for very long. If you decide to do your own fabrics, what I would suggest is when you purchase your pattern and your pattern comes in, go ahead and just put your little pieces of fabric in these little spots so that you know exactly what fabric number 11 and fabric number 4 is so that you're using those so that they'll coordinate the way that they do in the quilt. And again, here's your fabric that you're going to need. The other thing I want to mention is that on your pattern, it's going to talk about a couple of rulers that she suggests, and we are going to demonstrate these rulers. And it is the 45 degree half square triangle ruler and the 90 uh, degree quarter square triangle ruler. We'll also show you a couple of other options, but um, we are going to go ahead and show her rulers with that. The other thing that she talks about is the way that the pattern is written. It's actually written really well. And what you can see is that for our block number one that we're going to start with in our next class, if you're doing the twin size, she tells you exactly what your fabrics are to cut. If you're doing the king size, exactly what you're going to cut. She's, and then we're going to go through the piecing with you and show you any little, sorry, I have a band-aid here. It makes it difficult to use my finger. Um, we're going to show you how to do the piecing and any other little tricks we can show you along the way with leaving open seams and doing kind of some fun things. And then at the bottom, they're going to tell you that you either need to make two of those blocks if you're making the twin, or maybe you have to make three of those blocks. And every one of them is going to be like that as we go through all of the different blocks that are featured in here. You might have to make a couple. You might have to make more than that, maybe just one. So that's how the pattern is written. What I'm going to suggest that you do is go ahead and get your pattern, look over your pattern a little bit, and again, using these papers with your pattern, organize your fabric. If, you're, if you've decided to get a kit, your kit is it's exactly the fabric that's pictured, so it should be really easy to figure out. And if not, if you're going to go ahead and do your own thing, get all of those ready to go and then we'll go ahead and see you for your first class. So this is just sort of getting organized, getting all of your things together, and then we're going to post two videos per month until we make it all the way through this quilt. And I'm just gonna tell you that I am actually going to probably pick some things out of my stash. I don't think I'm going to do it in the same colorway because I sort of like it that when we have a quilt in the shop and we picture 
one picture on the front, it's really nice to see something very, very different uh, in a different colorway. It just helps for inspiration. So anyway, that'll be kind of fun to see. So um, grab, gather all of your stuff together and I'll see you pretty soon. Thank you for watching our video. We invite you to leave a comment, hit the like button, or better yet, subscribe to our channel so you never miss an episode. You can also visit our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Pinterest pages, or find all of those things and our online store at fabricpatch.net.